Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad designer shout out. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is one of my favorite kind of designs because it's a student I have worked with and I've seen him grow for three years. This project right here starts with this image right here. It is the RB26, and it's a pretty sweet looking engine. And Leo, an eighth grade student of mine, built this copy totally using the images and specs he could find on the internet. These parts are all completely made in Tinkercad. Right now I've got the notes on. We'll read those in a moment. Let me just spin around and give you a good look at this before we dive into the custom notes that Leo left for us to help explain all the cool parts of this sweet engine. So friends, let's start with this note right here. The 2.6 liter RB26 DETT electronically fuel injected from Nissan R32. If we slide back here, I have built everything you see here except for the pipes in a different page and then he transported them there. So he would mod them, then bring them in and then assemble them. Pretty sweet idea. The RB26 DETT is a legendary engine for drifting. It was the first featured in R31 and was put in seven other cars before it was retired, including the R32, the R33, and the R34. The RB is still swapped into cars like Sylvia's and 350Zs, and if you're crazy, a Dodge Charger. How cool is that? Get a good look at the logo he built up here. That is so awesome. There are about 200 pieces in the design. And here we have the intake manifold. That is sweet. If we move over here, we have the radiator. And then out front, this is a intercooler. A intercooler works by intaking outside air and compressed warm air from the turbos, cools it, and then feeds compressed cold air into the intake manifold where it's fed into the engine and used to make more explosions. Over here we have the intake and feeds hot air into the turbo and down here we have a real car part brand, Gretty. So you can actually visit them at www.gretty.com. This is the turbo. It compresses air and feeds it in the engine and intercooler. A engine needs more air to make more explosions which then powers the car. Basically, the more explosions, the better. That is awesome. Leo, amazing work. Thank you so much for the notes, and it has been so fun watching you build this for the last few weeks. Friends, if you ever build something awesome and want to share it with me, don't forget it is so simple. You can click this icon, generate a link, copy that link, and you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I've got a page with a Tinkercad tab and a ton of amazing lessons. And then also down at the bottom there is a built-in message until you can click that button, add your information, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, don't forget there is also the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk all things Tinkercad, and there's a good chance you'll run into me there as well. One other thing I want to mention, don't forget the Designer Showcase. Friends, there are so many amazing profiles to check out here when you click them. Check out all their amazing designs and make sure you give them a reaction for their awesome work. Henry, love your work and thanks for contributing to the Tinkercad scene. While I'm here, I want to show you one more amazing thing. Don't forget to keep an eye on your notifications. These can be so fun, you never know who it'll be that is giving you feedback about your designs. Friends, the extra cool thing is when they give you feedback, you can also click on their profile and return them a favor to let them know you appreciate their work as well. What a great way to work together as a Tinkercad community. Friends, if you want to share your designs, it is so simple. Make sure you've got a design you like. Make sure you've upgraded your images. I've got a video that shows you how to do that. Under the properties, make sure that you have set it to public. And then I always prefer no derivatives because I've got tutorials and I want people to learn on their own instead of just copying my work. Once you've got that and it's public, you can copy that link. Return to the Showcase tab and click on the Tinkercad Design Nuclear Reactor. Now I had Gumpo the Dino. And then you simply paste the link in like this and hit Submit. At that point, you're done and then you can return and in the Showcase, click on the reactor link. 
it takes you to the awesome page where you can see all of the shared projects. And then the circle of the Tinkercad nuclear reactor begins where more people click your designs, see your work, and appreciate the effort you're putting in. In wrapping up, friends, I want to say thanks again to Leo. Oh my gosh, incredible design, and I love your skills, and thank you so much for taking time to share. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day